Hey there, how's it going? I'm here in Athens. Can't say it's the best graffiti I've seen, but it does make things a little bit more uh, colorful. So it is the middle of February, smack in the middle of winter here. A little bit chilly, but uh, not too bad. For those who are not uh, subscribed to my channel, I'm in the middle of a around the world trip. I uh, flew from Cyprus here to Athens two days ago. And let me get across the street while I can. I am now walking over to the Parthenon, the most uh, famous iconic structure of Greece and ancient uh, Greek history. And I'm going the like back route through these uh, kind of funky looking streets here. Because it is more or less uh, in this direction. I could go up one of the uh, main streets and kind of cut over or whatever, but I uh, just figured, you know, get a taste of these back streets of Athens, see if there's more uh, interesting graffiti along the way than what I just showed. Things will be changing as I walk through uh, different neighborhoods here and it will get a bit more, uh, you know, a little nicer than this here and then get to the like central you know, tourist spot of uh, the Parthenon on the Acropolis. The Acropolis is the uh, hill that, uh, you know, has amazing like views looking out over Athens. So that will be really cool to see. And uh, the Parthenon is a, you know, ancient building from uh, 447 BC, 2,500 years old is when construction began on the Parthenon. It was completed in 438. And it is a symbol of uh, ancient Greece. The uh, classical Greek period, it is called, was like the height of the uh, Greek civilization. The Athenian Empire, Athens, is uh, named after Athena, the Greek goddess. And the Parthenon is a uh, temple. It was originally built as a temple honoring Athena, the goddess. And it sits atop the Acropolis with many other uh, ancient buildings in the area, so it's gonna be really cool. So uh, here we go, should be a uh, fun walk. It's actually like great weather for walking because uh, it isn't too hot at least. I wonder if uh, they'll mind if I walk into this lot, I guess I'll find out. There's a guy right there at that car who might be like the guy manning the lot and might get annoyed at me filming, so. All right, gonna keep on walking. formaldehyde, endless columns of flesh, electronic apparition draped in womb of Ananke, shivering whore of light, dirty infamous pagan fog, supernatural addiction, vomited broth of abigor, alcoholic goat defilement, exhaling putrid angel dust, funeral constellation, abduction of sacred winds, degrade the shapeless, and I won't read the last line there, but... That totally sounds like something written by my friend Abram. Anyone who has seen uh, my videos hanging out with Abram. He writes uh, palindromes. So a palindrome is a word or phrase that is the same backwards as forwards. So like radar. Definitely uh, some interesting neighborhoods here. Radar spells forwards and backwards the same. Or the phrase, Madam, I'm Adam. If you take those words, it spells the same forwards as backwards. But Abram will write these just incredible, uh, looks like poems with that kind of language. 
It will be incredibly uh, long and intricate, and the whole thing will be a palindrome. Pretty cool. Okay. And so I thought that I would uh, talk while I'm walking here a bit about, wow, the uh, street art is getting better at least. And it's not just on the buildings, but on the vehicles. and my other uh, travels in Greece because this is my fifth trip to Greece. The last time was last summer when I went to the island of Corfu. But I only spent uh, five days there. So that was a very, very short uh, wow. The... Getting kind of uh, off the charts here. Check it out over here. This is a good one up ahead. And so I was here in, uh, I guess it was like early August or something of uh, 2017, last summer, for just five days. I went from uh, Albania by ferry over to Corfu, the Greek island, and then from there took another ferry um, over to Italy. The previous time that I was in Greece before that was in 2016, in uh, June and July, and I spent uh, six weeks in uh, Greece then. Mostly out on the islands with a mountain bike. And back on the bicycle here that I bought here in Athens when I arrived and uh, took it uh, out onto the islands and biked all over. I went to, I think, six different uh, Greek islands. And the previous time that I was in Greece was in 2009 when I also uh, brought a mountain bike Biking along on the island of Naxos on a uh, dirt road here that goes along the, the sea and uh, just came across a pretty cool site here. And I spent three months traveling around the Greek islands, mostly on the Greek islands, a little bit uh, elsewhere on the Pelion Peninsula and Ah, uh, I forget what the other place is called. Oh yes, the Peloponnesus. All right, this is looking real nice. Excellent. And I think we're going into some uh, nicer neighborhoods uh, now. <laughs> I can see it. Check it out. That is the Parthenon right up there. On the Acropolis.
this will be my first time actually uh, going into the, the Acropolis there since uh, 2009 because when I was here uh, in uh, 2016 I made a video how expensive is Athens and walked all over the place I walked right through here this is the spot the exact spot right over there where I tried to sell my bicycle for anyone who happened to see that uh, uh, video where I was telling the story of after I came back from the island and had the bicycle that I bought just down the street, just down the street down there. And uh, I tried to sell it. And so I was sitting right over there with a sign saying for sale and the price. And I kept like knocking the price down and just never had any luck. And so I then went down, I think that street up there, took a seat at a, a little uh, bar, got a beer and through a random uh, situation, the lady there offered to store my bicycle for me at her apartment, like indefinitely. And uh, for all I know, it's still there or it isn't. I don't know. I haven't uh, been in touch with her since that time two years ago. And so I was thinking whether I should get it this time. But so I'm going to Mykonos, the island tomorrow. Check it out. Some Greek ruins. I'm going to the island of Mykonos by ferry tomorrow. But I just don't think I'm going to uh, really want to have the bike with me, with the weather. It's starting to rain right now. Library of Hadrian. The building was erected in 132 to 134 AD by Emperor Hadrian. And so I'm not going to uh, stop by and ask her about the bike. Just, uh, you know, next time I'm in Greece, then maybe I'll check and see if she still has it. I won't be surprised if she doesn't respond to my email, is no longer working at that place, sold it, gave it away, whatever. But uh, who knows? Maybe it will actually still be there. And so the uh, Parthenon is normally 20 euros. So that's about like $25 at the current exchange rate. But winter time, I guess it's half price. It's only 10 euros, so that's good. There it is again. And so uh, for those who haven't been uh, following my travels, just thought I'd mention where I've been so far that's brought me to this point of being in uh, Greece in the middle of winter. I started my trip in Singapore in early October. Here we have a uh, sign saying I'm going the right direction, Acropolis. Early October, I flew from San Francisco, California to Singapore. Only spent uh, one night there actually, because I was flying next to Thailand to meet a friend. And so I flew to uh, Krabi, Thailand, then went to the island of Koh Lanta, met my uh, friend Maria there, and uh, spent uh, almost a month in uh, Thailand. Also went to Kopi Pi and back to Krabi and Rele, and then flew to India. Spent six weeks in India, had a really awesome trip once again, and then flew from there to Dubai, United Arab Emirates, spent uh, I think three weeks in the United Arab Emirates and then crossed by bus into Oman, the country of Oman also on the Arabian uh, Peninsula there, and then flew from Oman to Jordan, spent uh, 10 days or so in Jordan, and then Israel, spent about 10 days in Israel, and then Cyprus, spent uh, 12 days in Cyprus, and then Flew to Athens day before yesterday. Oh boy, bit of a uh, intense hike up this hill. And there we go. A nice view already of Athens. Oops. I'm not sure uh, if I can get through there. I might have gone the wrong way. I might need to go back down and then head up 
over. I know the entrance is more over on that side. I thought this uh, path should be open. Maybe there's a way to get in over there. Anyways. And so I had to uh, walk quite a ways over this way. And uh, I think this should get me to the entrance. Oh, that's right. Gotta get the view from up here. And you gotta watch out for these steps. They are super slippery, especially now that it's wet. The Acropolis. Now here is a photo of me standing right there in 2009, about uh, nine years ago. <laughs> And I'm in. 10 euros, no lines. The Theater of Dionysus. Wow. The Parthenon, a temple of the Doric order, was dedicated to Athena Parthenos. It was the most important building of the program of Pericles for the re-establishment of the Acropolis Sanctuary after the sack by the Persians, and so that is the uh, region of Iran now, in 480 BC. The architects of the temple were Ictinos and Callicrates. The renowned sculptor Phaedius collaborated with other sculptors to design and execute.
The Parthenon was built in 447 to 438 BC. In the following centuries, several votive offerings were added to the Parthenon, among which most characteristic were the bronze shields which Alexander the Great dedicated from the spoils of his victory at the Granicos River, 334 BC. Alexander the Great was born in Greece, in the northern part of Greece. And so I forgot to mention my uh, first trip to Greece was in 1990, summer of 1990, when I was 18 years old and came to uh, Europe on a trip uh, around Europe for the summer. And I spent a month in uh, Greece on the uh, Greek islands and climbed to the peak of uh, Mount Olympus, which is up to the north of Greece. And also the Parthenon here, so that was 20 years ago. To finish this video here, stay tuned tomorrow traveling to Mykonos Island out in the Mediterranean. See ya!